Hi, I'm Tan and I'm currently travelling Australia in my home on wheels. Welcome to the new DigiDirect series where I take you on the road testing out the best products in the most remote locations. If I can use them out here, you're sure to love them over there or wherever it is you decide to call home. From my backyard to yours, jump on in and let's hit the road. Guess where we are? We are right smack bang in the middle of nowhere. All right, I had planned to take you to the very middle of Australia and we're pretty close. We're about a hundred kilometers away. And the reason I'm here instead of there, well, the track to the center of Australia is four wheel drive only. And this van of mine, well, she's a lot of things, but an off-road vehicle is not one of them. I prefer my kitchen cupboards to be attached to the walls. But for the point of this video, and just so you know, I do have a point, so stick with me. We'll get there. Imagine this is the center of Australia. So you've got Sydney that way, Perth's that way, Adelaide, it's all the way down there, and Darwin, well, if you keep going down that road, mate, you'll eventually get there. But the middle of Australia is officially called Lambert's Centre of Australia. It sits about 40 kilometres above the South Australian border and is about 200 kilometres south of Alice Springs. It's the geographical centre of the continent. Imagine the shape of Australia. It isn't perfectly round, not even close. So it's pretty hard to attempt to find the geographical center of such a wonky shape. There have been several attempts to find the center, but the one that seems to hit the spot the best was from the work of Dr. Bruce Lambert, one of the nation's top cardiographers. The Lambert Centre of Australia was calculated in 1988 by the Royal Geographical Society of Australia to commemorate the bicentennial of Federation and to honour the late Dr Lambert. Here's how they did it. The centre of a landmass is determined as the spot in which the shape resting on a single point manages to balance. Imagine an unevenly shaped object balancing on the tip of your finger. Move the object around until it doesn't fall off and you've found its gravitational center. Here's the thing though, less than 11 kilometers away from Lambert's spot, a gravitational center had been previously calculated in the 1930s by another geologist. He pretty much used a metal cutout of Australia and did kind of like the finger balancing thing. Safe to say, Lambert calculated Australia's centre in a little more credible way. But was his the accurate recording? Or are those four wheel drivers out there on a wild goose chase when we could actually be at the real centre of Australia right here? The Lambert Centre of Australia is commemorated with a monument, a scaled down replica of the distinctive flagpole on the top of the Commonwealth Parliament House in Canberra. So here in the centre of Australia, there really is nothing around and it's a fair slug to get out here. So you'll wanna be pretty prepared for the trip. Make sure you've packed all the essential gear. You'll want water, bring food and a camera. If you didn't get a photo, were you really there? And the big ticket item, well, you can't go to the center of Australia without an EcoFlow portable power station. Guys, we're in the middle of nowhere. How else are you going to power all of life's necessities? What? EcoFlow have a wide range of power stations. There's one to suit your every need. From the 300 watt River 2 up to the 7200 watt Delta Pro. Perfect for long trips, just plug it into your 12 volt socket and recharge while you drive. So this is the EcoFlow River 2 Max portable power station. This one has 512 watt hour capacity and 500 watts of output. 
but you can crank it up to 1000 watts with the X-Boost output to run up to 80% of essential appliances. The River 2 Max is lightweight at only 6.1 kilograms and has a compact portable design. Travel friendly, power off grid has never been this easy. The River 2 Max is 22% lighter than the previous generation, which makes it perfect for all your outdoor adventures. So there's four different ways to charge this baby. They've made it super easy for you to keep it powered wherever you are. You have fast AC charging, plug it into mains power, and you can go from empty to 100% in less than 60 minutes. Yep, I tested it. You can charge via USB-C or via a car charger. This is what I've been doing. Plug it in while you're driving and top your battery up so it's ready to go when you reach your next stop. You can also connect it to an EcoFlow solar panel and harness renewable energy while you're on the road. Plug in a couple of portable solar panels and fully recharge off-grid in as fast as three hours. The River 2 Max has three USB-A ports, one USB-C port, a 12-volt port, and two DC5521 ports. And here you have two AC outputs. Up the top is the LCD screen with all the important information so you can see how many hours of power you have left. It's so easy to see how much power each appliance is drawing and how much you have remaining of your battery. You really can have it all out here. Okay, as much fun as it is to film in the center of Australia, I need a break from the sun. So let's go inside and I'll tell you my favorite things about the EcoFlow. This is Tam's top five. Okay, number one, it's portable. You can move it anywhere you need extra power, which beats my van battery as I'm always running cords across to reach. Number two, it has multiple charging methods, which means you'll never be short of power. You can charge via a solar blanket, mains power, or plug it in while you drive. It's perfect to suit any lifestyle. Number three, it has clear input and output readings. You'll always know how much power your device is using and how much battery the power station has left. Number four, it's super simple to use with an ultra quick setup. I've actually been using the EcoFlow to power my electronics even when it's sunny outside. You just press a button and you have instant power as opposed to lifting my mattress fumbling for my inverter switch and plugging in an extension cord. The EcoFlow is a massive time saver. And number five, it's perfect for backup power. The River 2 Max has been a great backup to my fixed solar setup. I've already told you my battery has died multiple times during this cloudy weather and the River 2 Max pretty much saved the day. Imagine having one of these power stations at home. You can keep running all your entertainment electronics even through a power failure. I initially thought this guy wouldn't be powerful enough for me, but apart from my 2000 watt cooktop, it has powered every single one of my devices, including my hairdryer. Now just quietly, I'm not looking forward to giving this one back. The EcoFlow is a must have for any travel adventure, even if you think you have the perfect power setup. An EcoFlow power station is the perfect addition to your off-grid adventures. You'll never have to worry about powering up all your essential electronics, which means you can explore even further without any limitations. Power your world with an EcoFlow portable power station for your home, the car, or from the middle of nowhere.